Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I am a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. Today I would like to do a short video with you to show you how to map JSON documents with different keys. Uh, so this would fall under sort of a best practices slash design guidance type of video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some JSON object that has different keys in some of the documents. This will be a simple data set for the demonstration of this video. We're going to look at the error that would be observed in Mapper or any other snap with an expression field where you may be trying to look at a key that doesn't exist. And then we're going to look at three ways to handle the situation. So first, let's hop over to SnapLogic. This is the demonstration pipeline that I will be using. Uh, we have a JSON generator in this case, which is going to be giving us some static JSON. I always find it's best to take a static set of data when you're trying to solve something just to make sure you understand how it works. But this could be data coming in from any sort of other snap that would pass down JSON data uh, with the possibility that some keys would not, con or some documents would not contain all the keys. All right, so the data that I'm looking at is four specific documents. So this is gonna be the first document, and we can see that we have two keys, name and color, and our values are Jane and yellow. For the second document, we still have a name and color, but this time we have Bill and Null, and then for our third and fourth documents, we only have names John and Ron. We have no colors. So let's take a look by validating this pipeline. And we'll take a look at the error so that everybody can be on the same page about when you might want to implement one of these solutions. So the error that would be seen in Mapper or any other snap, like I said, with an expression field where you might be trying to reference a key that does not exist, is that we would see an error color is undefined. Uh, perhaps you meant name or some other key. So what it means is it's not referring to the fact that color is not defined here. We can see that it is. What it means is that color was not defined in this JSON document. So here we can see in our input preview that we had two documents without the color, just like we saw in the JSON generator. And we can see in the output preview of the mapper that these two documents could not be mapped and so they did not move through. So let's go and take a look at the first possibility and how we could address a situation like this or prevent it from happening. One way is to check null safe access. And what this does is it allows SnapLogic to know that you are okay with us adding the key and the value of null uh, anytime that it is not found in the incoming record. A one caveat to this is whether or not your system downstream is going to accept null values. Now the other two options allow for some more flexibility. Uh, this is going to be a ternary operation. And so essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to search for color. This is going to basically, so this would be your key name. And we're going to use this in operator. And we're going to use it on the root of the structure, since my JSON structure is pretty simple. Uh, if this was nested under something like people, then it might say dollar sign dot people. And we'll look for color in dollar sign dot people. If we find it, we're going to move color over. And if we don't find it, we're going to pass the string false. Okay, And you can see down here that this is how this comes out and it looks. So we can see that we've got our, our false in quotes, so we know this is going to be a string value. And the third and final option is to use the get function. So again, we're going to use some JSON pathing here. We're looking at the root, and the dot tells us that we're one level below root. And we're going to try and get the key color. So again, here, this is our key name. So color, color. And if we can't find it, we're going to pass, in this case, we're going to pass the Boolean value false. And if I expand this, you can see now it's not a string. We're actually looking at the Boolean. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope this will help you understand how to map keys that may not exist in some of your JSON documents.